Good morning students, DLC, differential leukocyte count is one of the common physiology practicals in MBBS as well as BDS. Here I am going to mainly tell you about how to identify the different types of WBCs, which students often do mistake in spite of repeated teaching, just concentrate. This is neutrophil and you can see here three lobed neutrophil and regarding size, almost neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte, all are around 10 to, 1, 10 to 14 microns in diameter. Whereas monocytes alone as 18 to 20 microns in diameter, otherwise monocyte is the largest WBC, but still when you are looking at microscope and are counting under 100 X, we will not be sure whether this is so that is not a guideline. According to me, you cannot tell this is largest. So main thing which you want to concentrate, if they ask how will you identify whether this is neutrophil or eosinophil or basophil means, the immediate point which you have to say is granules. So please, please concentrate. It is all based upon granules and obviously you know lymphocyte and the monocyte are agranulocyte and all these neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil are granulocytes. So now coming into granulocytes, see here just to concentrate, yeah here the granules are thin, for example it is like this, yeah thin whereas here in eosinophil note it down the granules are coarse, you can see the diagram. In basophil also, the granules are coarse. I again repeat, in neutrophil, the granules are fine, F-I-N-E, fine. In eosinophil, the granules are coarse, that means thick. Basophil also, the granules are coarse. So the thickness of the granules I explained. Now coming to the color, just to see here, I have used both blue color as well as pink color. That's why it is N, neutral. Neutral means it takes both eosin strain as well as hematoxin strain from the Leishman strain. So, when drawing you put fine dot and try to use both blue color as well as red color, very very important. So it takes both blue and red. Eosinophil, see here, I used only one color which is brick red. So eosinophil contains coarse, thick, you can see here coarse and brick red, color here is red, whereas here it takes both blue color as well as red color but very fine. So neutrophil, eosinophil. Granules I explained. Now coming to basophil, yeah, as you see, the granules are coarse, color simple, blue color. So basophil usually when you see in the microscope under 100 X, it will be coarse, blue color granules, same size, all the three are 10 to 14 microns in diameter. And one more thing you can see here, the granules are such, so much that you see here, it almost, whereas here the nucleus are able to see bilobed, here it is three lobed, here it can be single lobe or bilobe, but lobes you cannot differentiate much, but that is not the important point. The granules are so much that it is even around the nucleus, see the cell membrane. Cell membrane are also full of granules or the granules are so much that it is obstructing the vision of the nucleus as well as the cell membrane. Main thing blue coarse, not it on, this is basophil. Yeah, now coming to lymphocyte and the monocyte. It is very easy to identify lymphocyte and monocyte because both are a granulocyte to differentiate. Yeah, this I will not accept. If you tell, sir, largest WBC is monocyte. So, if I see a larger WBC in the microscope, that is monocyte, no, not accepted because it is very difficult. We cannot measure the size. So, it is very difficult to just to tell about the size alone. Again, here it is nucleus. Just to concentrate 80-20 concept. Just concentrate the nucleus is almost covering 80 percentage of the entire cell. Cytoplasm is covering 20 percentage. So, if the nucleus is so much big size, that is it is covering the entire cell, that is it is covering almost 80 percentage, you can see here, then it is lymphocyte. Here you see, actually this nucleus should be little bit big, but okay, 50 percentage will be cytoplasm, 50 percentage will be nucleus, I can even draw a little bit bigger. Yeah, so 50 percentage is nucleus, 50 percentage is cytoplasm, that is monocyte and one more thing. You usually will tell kidney shape. For example, I will draw one diagram here. Yeah. So I will ask a student, for example, can you tell me what is this WBC? Most of the students will tell monocyte because it is kidney shaped. No. So the kidney shaped is not an important point. Again, you put 80 concepts here. Cytoplasm. This is cytoplasm and this is nucleus. So nucleus is almost 80 percentage. Cytoplasm is only 20 percent. So this is actually lymphocyte. So don't tell it is kidney shaped and monocyte. So 80-20 concept, 
differentiates lymphocyte and monocyte. If initially you are able to see very small like this, then you can tell small lymphocyte, this is large lymphocyte. I do not think small lymphocyte, large lymphocyte differentiation is needed. You just mentioned neutrophil, eosinophil, basophil, lymphocyte, monocyte. Now coming to one more clarification. Now I will again ask you a question. Yeah, when I ask what is this WBC, many will be telling eosinophil because it is like bilobed spectacle shape, but that is not the answer because neutrophil can be single lobe or two lobe or three lobe. Here we have drawn an example of three lobe. So, do not think that for example, see here every all the students will be thinking two lobes spectacle shape. So, yes, it is eosinophil. No, it is wrong as I already told very, very important thing is granules only. Yeah, first itself I told here. It is granules is fine or coarse? Fine. Color it is taking both eosinematoxin red color, blue color or single color both. So, obviously this is neutrophil. So, do not tell based upon the size, do not tell based upon the nucleus shape. It is based upon what color granules, thickness of the granules and cytoplasm nucleus ratio. Based upon the granules only you have to differentiate the granulocyte. Based upon the 80-20 that cytoplasm nucleus ratio only you have to tell whether it is lymphocyte or monocyte. So, in this video, we discussed about how to differentiate the types of white blood cells when you focus it under microscope. Thank you, we will meet in the next video.